Welcome to Wild Honey. I'm honored to share this original game that I've been uh, creating over the last two months, working from 8 to 16 hours a day. Thank you for being part of my elite group of alpha testers. Your feedback is invaluable to me, so um, once you've played it a little while, if you wouldn't mind, press this Give Feedback button and it'll take you to a short survey. It'll help me out a lot. So with no further ado, let's jump right in. Here we start out in a little meadow, flowers. You can use your fingers to drag around and look. You can pinch and zoom in and out. Um, and with these flowers, if I'm gonna change my name to here I am, David. And if you click on a flower, it sends out your little bee minions to pollinate these flowers. I currently have three bees, so if I click on more than flowers, nothing happens until these bees are done pollinating. And once they pollinate a flower, there's a 20 minute uh, cooldown period before you can pollinate more flowers again. Let's send out a few more bees. Um, now, let's click on the honeycomb here, where they're taking the pollen. And inside the honeycomb, these are the pollens they've collected over here on the left. Uh, there's center pollens and petal pollens. And over here on the right are honey recipes that are required to complete the level. There's, here's a list of all the recipes right here. on this level and so to complete a recipe you click on the hexes and it tells you this requires three white teardrop shaped petals so we'll come over here and click on that and it fills them in there and it activates the craft honey button press craft honey and now I can either sell the honey for collect money immediately uh, five honey coins or I can sell it on honey bay for twice the price ten honey coins put it up here for six hours and uh, during that time, there's a random chance that a virtual buyer will come along and buy the product. Uh, here, we have moved on to the next recipe. This one requires three yellow teardrop shaped petals. So we'll put those in, craft honey. This time, let's cash out right away, get five honey coins for that. Now, this here is another one, which is this graphic means three white petals of any shape. So they have to be white this, the yellow ones would not fulfill it, and they also cannot be a uh, center pollen. If you get the ones that fulfill, once again, craft the honey, and each honey has its own unique name based on the ingredients and the recipe. Um, and this one here looks like we're out of pollen right now. Another feature I'd like to show off is what I call foraging, which is looking around for things like bushes and rock piles. See this rock pile here? If I swipe on it with my finger, it animates away and look, lo and behold, there's a mushroom underneath. Voila! Use that mushroom in just a moment. I'll show you how to use that. Also, I happen to have the good luck to find all these clovers here. Look at that teeny little guy right there. Four leaf clover. These four leaf clovers can be used to enhance a lot of your luck and randomness within the game. And let's scroll a little bit more. So uh, there's another bush right here. So again, I swipe open and that, oh, another mushroom. Beautiful. Many times they don't have anything in them. Okay, and then let's go back into the uh, beehive so we can show how mushrooms work. This, this honey recipe requires three yellow teardrop petals. I only have one here. So I can use a mushroom to fulfill one of the requirements. The tan mushrooms, you can only use one per recipe. The blue mushrooms, you can use two per recipe. As the red mushrooms, you can use three per mushroom per recipe. Of course, you can only use every, for it to be honey, it has to have at least one pollen in it. So if you use red mushrooms on a recipe, it has to have at least one actual pollen to become honey. And there, now we can craft the magic yellow lemon drop honey. Notice the price of the honey goes up significantly when you use mushrooms. Okay, now I'm going to take us up to the top menu here. Here's a little toggle arrow that opens up a secondary bar that has other information in it. Here's um, your honey recipes that you've made so far uh, that you have not sold. Here, this book here is your, the rarity legend from the uh, flower traits of the petal shapes and colors and center shapes and colors from the least rare down to the most rare. The, as you go through the levels, you'll find more and more rare flowers on each level, and those uh, pollens that are made from those flowers make more and more valuable honeys. Now we're going to go to the level 
that you're on currently. We're on level one, and all the rest of the levels are locked. Uh, the way that you raise, go to another level is completing all the honey recipes. You can see the different honey recipes by clicking the button. So you can see ahead, please ignore this blinky glitch that I haven't seen happening on the device, but it happens on the computer version that I'm giving this tutorial. Uh, so here are some different recipes. As you can see, at higher levels, you will require a larger uh, honeycomb for creating more complex recipes. Now I, I'm going to I have en enabled the um, debug button, which allows for this. Uh, when I'm here in the honeycomb and I view all recipes, when the de debug mode is activated, there's this complete all recipes button, which is basically a cheat that allows you to skip up to the next level. So I'm going to click that button and now it says I've completed this level and it shows me that I've unlocked a new pebble shape, a new center color, the uh, things that I found along the way while I was foraging, and the eight recipes that were required to complete the recipe. Now I'd like to show off the feature of flower pots. When you reach a certain level you see a little plus button has appeared here, which is a quick way to add, or you can go to the store and go to the flower pot section purchase one of several kinds of flower pots as they become unlocked. Ordered, I'm going to get the basic uh, terracotta flower pot and there it is. And what a how, having a flower pot allows you to do is you can pick a flower by pressing and holding on the flower and it appears in the flower pot. As you can see as you pick each flower it replaces the previous flower in the pot. And once you have cleared a grass patch that has no more uh, flowers, you can double click on the flower pot and any grass patches that you've cleared flowers and they'll blink and when you click on that pet pot on the flower patch the um, it puts seeds with uh, gro growth times based on the level of the flower pot. Now what you can do while those are growing is you can pick other flowers with different traits and plant them in the, into the grass patch. Now there are multiple traits of, of flowers growing in that grass patch. So we've got one more here. Go back up to the grass patch, double click that, and also the flower pots have a limited number of uses. So that's the end of my flower pot. I have to buy another one. Uh, I'm going to now use a golden apple to speed up the seeding time so that we can show you what happens. So there you go. This is a blend of the different characteristics that I planted on this patch. And now I've skipped ahead to level 6, which is the wasp level, uh, as a dry and barren wasteland. And here I'm showcasing the introduction of wasps, which if I right now click on a flower and send out one of my bees to pollinate it, uh oh, the wasps come out and kill the bee. But if I click on these wasps, I'm fast and I can click on them, I can kill the wasps. There's a finite number in the in the wasp nest, so you can stop the wasps from eventually from killing all your bees. But in the meantime, you do have to buy new bees when you run out. So there are 20 levels in all, and they, eventually there's going to be they're going to be much larger and have unique artwork for each level. Currently, there are five maps that uh, each level has various sort of subdivisions of the map. Uh, there's two unique maps: the dry level. Uh, and also this one I put in here just to see how far I can push the level design. This is uh, Jimi Hendrix's Electric Ladyland. And there we are with psychedelic purple grass and red leaves on trees. So I'm looking forward to fleshing out the uh, level design much further, but I just wanted to get this prototype out the door for put it in your hands for testing. So once again, once you've played with it a bit, please let me know. Uh, you give your feedback uh, on the survey and um, let me know uh, particularly uh, how the flow of solving recipes and finding flowers on each level went. Um, thank you so much. Enjoy.